students in America's topmost universities like Columbia, Harvard, Yale and MIT are rising up in rebellion against Israel's war on Gaza. The situation is tense. Here are the things you need to know on the whole story. It all started when more than 100 pro-Palestinian demonstrators who had camped out at Columbia University were arrested last week. These protests spread to other universities in no time, like New York University, Yale, MIT and the University of Michigan. Columbia is still tense, where the campus gates were locked to anyone without a school ID and in-person classes were suspended as well. The gates to Howard Yard were closed to the public and university officials suspended the Palestinian Solidarity Committee. The New York police has been deployed across campuses to arrest students who are defying orders. The president's decision to send riot police to pick up peaceful protesters on our campus was unprecedented, unjustified, disproportionate, divisive, and dangerous. Yeah. Shame on them! So why are these students protesting? Well, they want their colleges and universities to condemn Israel's assault on Gaza and divest from the companies that sell weapons to Israel. Remember, Israel's war on Gaza has killed over 34,000 people since the Hamas attack on October 7th. The protesters want the universities to come clean on their financial ties to businesses that are profiting from the Israeli state. Another important thing to note is that these campuses are also seeing a divide among students who are calling the protests anti-Semitic. The university administration at Columbia says that the protests have been taken over by individuals who are not affiliated to the university and have come to campus to pursue their own agenda. We demand that all Barnard College and Columbia University suspensions and charges be dismissed immediately. And expunged from the students' records and that all rights and privileges be restored to them immediately. We demand that no disciplinary action be taken against any student protesters without due process and that no police be permitted on campus without serious consultation with the executive committee of the university senate. Let's also talk about other universities. At Yale, the police arrested about 45 protesters and charged them with misdemeanor and trespassing. Protesters have time until the end of weekend to call up their site. If they defy, they could face arrest and discipline, including suspension. So the future of several students is at stake. Protest sites have also emerged at other elite colleges like the University of California at Berkeley and New York University. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden, who has been criticized by the protesters for supplying funding and weapons to Israel, said that he condemned the anti-Semitic protests while also saying that he also condemned those who don't understand what's going on with the Palestinians. In the wake of these protests, Robert Kraft, a major Jewish donor to Columbia University, has threatened to cut off further funding to the university due to these protests.